So I, I got to see the first episode of HBO's The Last of Us show a little early, a couple of days early, uh, and it's pretty good. I definitely want to talk about it, but just know I'm not going to spoil anything. Now, I know most of you probably know what happens in The Last of Us, but if you didn't, you're safe here. But specifically, what I don't want to try and spoil is some of the surprises, some of the big change-ups, or just elements of the show that should really surprise you. I'm gonna try and tiptoe around that stuff and just give like a straight up take here. And just know the caveats to that take. Uh, I haven't really been following the development of the show. I know a lot of people were excited, so I have no idea like what the creators have said in the press, what their intention was with this show. Uh, also, I didn't read any of the reviews. I know reviews are out for like the first four episodes or most of the season already. I haven't checked out any of those. This is just like my straight up take from just seeing the first episode. and. It's the first episode, right? You can only judge it so much. It could go horribly wrong in the second episode. I mean, we've seen it before, but uh, what I'm gonna do here, I've always wanted to do this with more shows. I'm gonna talk about the first episode because there's some excitement behind that. Uh, and then at the end of the season, the season finale, I'll talk about the whole season, the whole show in more of a final thing. But straight up off the bat, I came out really, really happy with this. Uh, I, I don't know where my expectations were. I really loved Chernobyl. Uh, I thought that was a great series. So the people behind this are pretty competent. So it was like, it seemed like it was gonna be good, but also like you just have that reservation as a, as a player of video games. You know how these things go down, so you're a little nervous. Uh, but I was genuinely thoroughly entertained and surprised in a lot of ways. Now, it to me felt very close to the game. Like it is not one to one, moment for moment, beat for beat, scene for scene, but it's it's fairly close. You know, characters look similar. Uh, environments look almost directly pulled from the game at certain times. Uh, certain shots I found almost extremely, extremely close to the game, which I like just replayed, you know, like the, the remake version of it on PS5. So it's pretty fresh in my head. Uh, lots of characters' lines are the same, uh, but then added upon. And that's honestly what I enjoyed here. I think what they did is pretty slick because it's a show. It's gonna have more in it than a Last of Us game would, I, I guess. So it seems to me like they're very much sticking to the game, like, ex like exactly what that is and trying to represent that, but then filling in the blanks and adding a little bit more. And uh, that's what I already grew to like already with the first episode, dude. Like, it's not perfect. They did change some things and there are some things that they changed where I'm like, oh, you know, I wouldn't do that. Nothing too offensive, nothing that like ruins the whole show or anything, but little things where I'm like, oh, okay, I wouldn't have done that. Uh, but then there are other things that they changed where I'm like, oh, oh, they did that so the payoff could be better or oh, they did that to set that up. But really, I think the little changes or little additions really is what I would call most of them uh, were the most notable with the individual characters themselves. Everybody gets a little extra, even with the first episode. Joel gets some additional context, just like little extra bits to his character, stuff that you know uh, if you've played the game, but you just get it a little bit more up in the forefront, but in interesting ways. Tess has just like a really, really incredible moment. Like they just give her a moment. And the actress who plays her is really damn good. Marlene also has a little bit more, has a couple more conversations, couple little bits of context, and it works really, really well. Uh, cast wise, uh, of the main two, Joel, Pedro Pascal, like, I <laughs> I don't really have a lot to say. I like him. I think most people really like him. He's, he's pretty good on screen. Pretty much what I expected. It is like a workmanlike good Joel. I think ob obviously Joel's real character comes out and like the expression really comes out further down the line in this story. It's only the first episode, so we don't get to see all the emotional chops, but he's good. I just like him, so there's that. But who really surprised me just because I had no idea how it was gonna go uh, is Bella Ramsey as Ellie. I actually think she's really damn great. Uh, the way she was dropping F-bombs and like popping off and like a good little bit of levity and humor to her and some really good timing just made me instantly be like, okay, this kid's cool, which is exactly what the game did. The game introduced Ellie and it wasn't like, uh, like, you know, there was obviously tension between her and Joel, but she was spunky. There was something about her, like there was immediate appeal. It wasn't like this kid sucks. And then with shows or movies, like a lot of times when kids show up, it's like, oh, here we go. And once again, she has that immediate pull, that like screen power. And I really like that. 
But what I liked the most, I think, was just how uh, grounded a lot of the action felt. A lot of the, you know, the, the, the whole moment, the outbreak, all that stuff. The game did it really well, and I think the show just... Uh, hammered it home uh, they they nailed it like i was worried i'm like are they gonna pull off that like intro you know like the beginning of the last of us and i'm happy to say that i think they did a couple little different things here and there but uh really really cool same feeling 100 percent uh, i think even more powerful but like tommy's great sarah's great and like they give a lot more time for all of it to breathe. You get another couple of seconds with Tommy. You get a little a couple more moments with Sarah. That whole big thing, like when the world starts to end, it is really impactful. And I think uh, going forward past the intro, just like the whole thing really works because the violence is good. The violence feels real and tangible, never super over the top, uh, but still bone chilling and like, fucking wild like the runners you know like the early infected are absolutely awesome the way they move uh the way they like like that they they did a really good job and i was very happy i feel like it's really hard at this point we've seen all kinds of zombies or whatever you want to call them on screen little different interpretations and variations and stuff like that and for the last of a show to still make them feel a little different is good. I'm glad they took that from the game and really ran with that. But also the fact that like the show, the first episode has a couple of like genuinely good scares, some really good unsettling bone chilling moments, like legit horror moments. I was very happy to see shit like that. I was like, oh, there's like one scene in particular in the beginning where I'm like, okay, all right, this is good. This is good. You know, it feels nice to just like go, okay. All right, it seems like they're not screwing it up. You know, uh, with the people behind Chernobyl on this, like obviously Chernobyl wasn't like this action, like freaking crazy zombie fest or anything like that, but it had a lot of like unsettling horror to it. There was like this sense of dread over the entire thing that like, I, I, it's hard to explain and it hasn't felt like that in a lot of other d d TV shows or movies. And so that kind of carries over here with the whole infected clicker runner thing uh, in really good ways. Again, if you're going in for a complete, p it's like different. Like if you're going in for a totally purist thing, it is pretty straightforward with the game. Again, I think there's gonna be lots of conversations about like, you know, how pure, how pure to the game the show is also how much it really can be because it needs to add stuff because it's, it's longer, I guess. There's still a lot of things that they could change or tweak in later episodes or decide to omit that could really kind of fuck things up. And not even in terms of just like, oh, I was in the game and now it's not in the show. No, they could tweak things that like actually hurt the impact of some things or, or, or the feel of some characters or specific moments. So like, there's a lot that can still go wrong, but I'd say the first episode left me feeling pretty good. I'm excited to watch it. I'm gonna stick with it. I stick with these things because I just like to cheerlead for video games. I hope it's good. I also just like so far, it doesn't feel cheap. It feels very much like a full featured, full budget thing. I, I assume the budget for this was like pretty massive. I had seen headlines uh, and it actually, it, it helps. Like it really feels like this full experience. It felt to me like I was watching a Last of Us movie. And I was one of the people that I was like, cool, they're making a show, but like, I, you know, I don't know if we really need that. I thought the game was pretty good at telling that story, but hey, they might be onto something here with this one. I really want to talk about like the little individual things here and there. Maybe I'll do like a follow-up to this video specifically to talk spoilers and stuff. Like just like little things they changed or little things they added or little things they nailed perfectly. Like I want to talk about those with you guys, but for now, I'm just going to put out these thoughts spoiler free. So let me know what you're thinking. Uh, definitely leading up to this, I'm putting this out a few days before the show drops. So let me know what your expectations, your hopes and dreams are, if any, if you're even interested. Let's talk anything The Last of Us, you know, like the first game and this show, uh, really down in the comments. Definitely want to hear from you. Happy 2023, by the way. It's nice to be back. I've, it's been a minute since I put out a video, but I got a lot of stuff planned. So keep your eyes peeled. I'm Jake. You know the deal. Clicking the like button legitimately helps me. Thank you. If you like what I'm trying to do here, I'm just talking about stuff I love. That's it. But see you guys next time. Pizza's on me. Subscribe because video games.